Hi everyone, if you are new here, my name is Michelle. If not, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about my morning skincare routine as promised. Firstly, I just wanted to address the obvious, I'm brunette. I will talk about it again in another video, but I just wanted to say yes, I know I look quite different. I'm really happy with the change anyway. I hope you like it too. Today is all focused on my morning skincare routine. Skincare is one of the things I get asked most questions about. I have quite good skin. I don't really suffer with bad skin at all. And I think that's mainly due to looking after my skin quite well. Genetics play a little bit of part as well. But I think when you have a really like good routine, simple products that do the job, nothing too fussy, it keeps your skin in check. So I've just woken up, I'm in my robe. This is my bedroom. <laughs> Normally I would do this in the bathroom, but again, I film in my room, so I've got a, a little bowl and some hot water and stuff beside me. So to start off my skincare in the mornings, I usually just want to do a really light cleanse on my face. I don't have any makeup left on, all my makeup is taken off at night, I don't need a heavy duty cleanser, so I like to use a cream cleanser in the morning. The one that I'm using at the moment is the Rose Hip Plus Pure and Natural Organic Daily Cream Cleanser. This is a very light and hydrating cleanser. It removes any impurities from the skin or anything that might have built up overnight, but it's not stripping, it's very light on the skin, it's not like a heavy duty wash, it's just very simple. So what I like to do is just Get about that much on my fingers, rub it between my hands, oh, hair as well on my face, and then I just massage that into my face. You can be very gentle with this, you're not taking off any makeup, you're just cleansing the skin. It's very simple, I just rub in circular motions, lightly all around my face, and we're just cleaning away any oils or sweat or anything like that that's built up overnight. There is no need to go in with a super harsh cleanser in the morning. What are you washing off? <laughs> Practically nothing. This cleanser has some of the Rosehip Plus Rosehip Oil in it, so it helps with your hydration and balance in the skin as well. So now I'm just taking a hot flannel. And when I say hot flannel, I just mean hot to the hand, like nothing boiling hot. I use a clean flannel every time I clean my face. And I'm just lightly wiping off the cleanser. And that is that step. My skin is nice and clean. It's not stripped. It feels soft and nourished and clean and fresh for the day. A great base for makeup. <laughs> Once I've cleaned my face with a cream cleanser and a hot cloth, I like to go in with like a face spritz just to cool the skin back down and close up the pores. I'm not really strict with myself on what kind of face toner I use because they're all quite similar. I'm a bit of a floozy when it comes to my face toners, but a few that I have kind of laying about that I use, um, I'll show you a couple of them. This one is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. Really like that one. I also have the Bobbi Brown Face Mist Chamomile Green Tea and Cucumber Extracts. Another really nice one. And sometimes, if I feel like it, I will use the Dr. Spiller Aloe Sensitive Tonic, and that is just a toner that you put on a cotton pad and run over the face. But usually, if I'm feeling a bit lazy or tired in the morning, I'll just do a face spritz. Today, I'm just going to go with the Mario Badescu one, and I just spritz that over my face. Pretty self-explanatory. Very cooling, very soothing, a nice kind of refreshed, awake feeling, helps you kind of wake up your tired face in the morning. I really like that step. So then I kind of will just pat over my face lightly to make sure that's all dried in. So my next step is to use an oil on my skin and I feel like this is one of the most beneficial steps in my skincare routine. Whenever I use serums or oils, I feel like that gives me the extra punch that I need, even more so than my cleanser or my toner or anything like that, my moisturizer, where I really get a lot of my benefits from are my oils. Oils don't have to be super expensive or super fancy. You can get oils in your local pharmacy. I use the Rosehip Plus Pure and Natural Rosehip Oil, Australian Certified Organic Cold Pressed Rosehip Oil. This is just a simple organic rosehip oil. It doesn't need to be some super fancy expensive brand. This is a gorgeous Australian organic brand and it works. And all I like to do is just, you can see this is quite a big bottle and I've used it down to about here. I use it every single day. It's great underneath makeup as well. If you put it on right before you do makeup, your makeup blends beautifully. I just add like four, five drops to my hand and then I just rub my hands together lightly and then I'm just pressing it into my face. This can go all over your face. I put it even up to my eyes. It's really hydrating. 
It helps me with um, my pigmentation. I have very fair skin that scars quite easily. So if I do have spots or pigmentation or scarring, this really helps to heal them. It helps me with dry patches, especially coming up to winter. I just get a lot of those little, like flaky patches around my face that really don't look good when you've makeup on. But using the oil combats that and helps the makeup to sit beautifully. It just helps me with my overall hydration. I really, really like this. It's such a simple product. Like you don't need to be using incredibly fancy products to get great results. A lot of people these days have very sensitive skin too and using an organic rosehip oil like this one, it's brilliant because it won't irritate your skin. It has no fragrance, colors, preservatives, anything like that. So you can use it without worrying about irritating your skin. A lot of people can be quite scared to use oils in their face because they think if I use oil, it's going to give me an oily face. But actually, when I use the rosehip oil, I feel like it actually helps me to control the oils in my skin. Because if you think about it, if you're giving your skin oil, then your skin doesn't have to produce excess oil and become oily. You're giving it the hydration it needs, so it stops overproducing oil. I hope that makes sense. I know it's kind of um, layman's terms for quite a scientific thing, but um, oils, don't be afraid of them. Use them on your skin. Like I said, rosehip oil is so simple but effective. This little bottle of stuff is the bomb. Next up, I like to use my eye cream. And there are two eye creams that I've been switching up between lately. One of them I've already shown you. It is the Dermalogica Stress Positive Eye Lift. This is really good at tightening and depuffing the under eyes. So if you're super tired or you're just feeling a little bit run down, this will really help to lift and brighten the eye area. And the other one that I've been using is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. It just does what it says in the tin. It's very hydrating. It's really soft on my eyes. It doesn't irritate my eyes or anything like that. And I kind of just decide which one I'm going to use based on how I feel on the day. Today I'm feeling quite well rested. It might not look like it because <laughs> I'm quite pale and stuff, but I don't feel like my eyes are super puffy or anything. So I'm not going to use the Stress Positive Eye Lift. I'm just going to use the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. So I just use my finger to get a tiny amount and I will just dot that under my eyes. I think I've actually used too much. It's hard when you don't have a mirror in front of you. I'm just using the viewfinder. So I just gently pat and rub that into my eyes. Always be gentle on the eye area. You don't want to give yourself wrinkles. I really like this formula. It's very thin so you don't feel like your under eyes are getting greasy but it's very hydrating at the same time. It packs a punch for a thin consistency. And lastly, I'm just going to moisturize. I told you my skincare routine wasn't overly complicated. It's very simple. To moisturize, I'm going to use the Dr. Spiller Collagen Cream. I was introduced to this brand by my facialist and it is a like salon brand. So it's not sold in stores or anything as far as I know. It's only sold in places where you can get facials. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think that's pretty much it. It's just a really great top quality brand. They don't fuss over packaging or anything like that. They just fuss over ingredients. This moisturizer has a little blue hue to it and it's just super hydrating and helps the skin to look plump and hydrated. My skin is always quite dehydrated. Um, not necessarily like dried. I do get the dry patches which the oil helps with. But my skin is dehydrated mostly all year round and especially coming into winter. So this cream is very, very rich. It's very luxurious. You need the tiniest amount and it helps the skin to look plump and hydrated and like refreshed and youthful. It really adds that bounce and that spring back into your skin. And as you can see, I'm getting a really nice dew on the face there. It helps that makeup sit on beautifully. It's just really hydrating, honestly. I think it's one of the most hydrating moisturizers I've ever tried. It just really gets into the skin. It's not sitting on top in a greasy layer. It just penetrates the skin and actually makes a difference. Oh, and lastly, I actually do apply some lip balm. I thought I might as well show you. This is actually the Laneige Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask. I mentioned this in a favorites video a while ago. I apply this in the morning as well as at night. This really lasts on my lips and prepares them really nicely for makeup. It doesn't just disappear in a few minutes. <laughs> So that is my morning skincare routine. Honestly, it's so simple. I hope you weren't expecting something really like complicated. I just keep it simple and I think that's what keeps my skin 
in balance and in line. It doesn't need to be difficult, just use a few products that you know work for you and keep your skin balanced. You don't need to use a bajillion different products. Please let me know your skincare routine in the comment section below. So like what you use as your cleanser, toner, moisturizer, whatever it is, I'd love to know. I always love hearing about what you guys are using. It kind of enables me to try some new things. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. I'll talk to you again real soon. Stay tuned for my evening skincare routine.